KDB. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers who deposit $5 or more can get a no-sweat bet for up to $1,000 back in a beautiful bonus bet. Basketball comes on every night, almost every other night. You can find something that you can play some of that bonus bet money on. Uh, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code VOCH, V-O-C-H, VOCH. New customers can get a no-sweat bet up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. Loses, okay, only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code VOCH, V-O-C-H, VOCH. The crown is yours. I know y'all ain't mad for real, for real. For real. I, I know. Boy, Sky, I'm just going through the, I'm just going through the, through the tweets, man. Cause you know, my hotline blinging, you know what I'm saying? You can't even walk away and season a batch of wings without coming back and news happening. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. just, and I was just, I was just looking at the hotline blinging and I'm just reading comments from Cowboy fans. I'm like, damn dog, we sure do. Want to spend a lot of money at running back all of a sudden? I just, I, I'm just, boy, I'm just thinking about, I'm just thinking about these these cowboy fans that's that's sick of Zeke and all his money, and they sick of Tony and his franchise tag. All of a sudden, they got ten to drop on Saquon, or they got eight to drop on Tony, or eight plus to drop on Derrick Henry. Scott, it's, it's, it's fascinating how all off season since January. I'll even say the second week of January just to give them a little bit of grace period. Scott, who we've been talking about? Barton, Jackson Powers Johnson, Zach Frazier. If Van, we got Van Pivot, Pran, Cedric Van Pran, Bo Limmer, boy, we got Wisconsin, options. Yeah. We got options when it comes to when, when, when it when it comes to center. We've been talking about those names so much that even a non-draft fan knows who Jackson Powers Johnson is. Tyler Biotis got the Scott, let me tell you how bad it is for Tyler Biotis, right? Shouts out to Michael Gelkin. He's one of the best to ever do this. Scott, you should know what I'm talking about. Don't laugh. Scott, shouts out to Michael Gelkin. Gelkin was like, yeah, man. Cowboy. He ain't said, he ain't said like this. This vice said, Yeah, man, the Cowboys moving on from Biotis or whatever. He going to the Washington football wizards. And then he had some film at the bottom, right? And he was like, yeah, this is some of the highlights from Tyler Biotis, man. His effort and, and some of the big plays he had. He jumped on two fumbles this year. And I, was like, <laughs> I saw that. I was like, okay, I'm waiting for him to put together a nice little montage of blocks. Fumble recoveries? Okay. Scott, he jumped on two fumbles because of his effort and his motor. I said, that, that boy, I'm up here looking at the, at the Cowboy fans that's upset. And I know a lot of y'all just simply upset because we ain't doing much. And I know y'all don't want to look at other teams that we competing against. They still got a running back playing quarterback. They might well be running wings over there. I know y'all mad at, at them making moves and all that. I understand, chat. But what y'all not about to do is look at me and tell me that you've been daydreaming and wishing that you can sign your backup defensive end for 15 million. You ain't, you ain't going to look at me. And lie to me. <laughs> Scott, that ain't what all in mean to me, dog. Paying Doris Armstrong 15 ain't all in to me. He can go chill with Dan. It's tough over there. I called your show 
A to Z Dallas on YouTube, 8.30 to 10.30 in the morning, a.m. Will still does a fantastic job. I called your show, Scott. I was like, man, I wonder how many of these characters gonna 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 prove how not tough they are and just dip out to go be with Dan Quinn in general. Like they just heard how Zimmer get down. And if you were free agent, you're not even gonna consider Cowboy. You're just gonna dip out with the Washington football wizards in general. I had that thought, you know what I'm saying? And in my mind, I thought Dorrance was gonna leave because I'm not saying Dorrance is soft, but hey, I, I heard he gets a little emotional. I thought I thought that was gonna be the reason why we leave, but boy, yeah. <laughs> 15 Scott, you hear what I said? Yeah, he wasn't coming back. He wasn't coming back. He remember he got like six and a half or something like that. So they they weren't probably weren't going to come higher than that. And you knew he was going to get more than that in that open market because that's that's how free agency works. Scott, Dorrance and Sam are the reason why Michael Parsons got to play on a four point stand. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't gonna, you know, I don't go too crazy. And, and, and look, Scott, this same bunch that don't want to really pay high dollar for running back. We've been, I think me and you, especially you, Scott Walk, still, you're fantastic on your show, A to Z Dallas in the morning, 8 10. You, you've done a fantastic job of explaining to Cowboy fans, whether, you know, whether we be well informed Cowboy fans, we be, all right, I just kind of watching the season, but I don't dig on draft, super draft people, super casual. You break it down for everybody right yeah. you've been breaking down the, this running back class pretty well like from the root of the two to that's that's from the roots to the top this country right you've you've broken this down pretty well and and i mean no derrick henry what? no like aaron jones gonna cost money what? time out scott you think aaron jones gonna cost money I, I don't know what his what his uh his money's guarantees look like the last few years but He'll probably cost a little more than what Cowboys want to do. No, Aaron, no, 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 no. Like, dog, we just been, we, we like them, not me and you, Scott, but, but we've been fussing over running back payment for a long time. And we're finally in position, and, and we're going to break all this down today, chat. We're finally in position to get running back cheap for the first time in a long time. And y'all want to drop the bag on the Hurt Bulls, man. Hey, Bachi. Uh V O C H L O N B A R D I. There is not a high dollar running back that got paid today that ain't got some kind of injury issue somehow. But <laughs> I'm, I'm being point guarded by the best in the business, man. Master Wig and Skywalker Steve. What's up, sir? What's good, y'all? Sky, I even saw Cowboy fans mad that, that Tad came out and said that the Eagles are the, the best run franchise uh-huh. of the league. Y'all mad at Tad for because man. Tad trying to get dag about it. Yeah, he, he, he's, <laughs> he's trying. I, I Tad need to sit down. Tad trying to get dag about it. I ain't mad at him. I understand. I we, 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 actually, we actually solid with Tad, man. We, yeah. we, yeah. <laughs> don't go to Philly, though. <laughs> no. No, don't go to Philly. No, no, no. Nah, nah. Go to go to goddamn Jacksonville after they give up on. Hey. on, on, on. Go to the Saints. Well, you know what I'm saying? Y'all Louisiana hey, characters. He, he, he can't go to Atlanta, Vach. Because, <laughs> boy, hey, who, whoever the agent of Kirk Cousins is, I mean, is there a Hall of Fame for agents? Watch. Because this man has made $360 million, like real American money. Yeah. And I wanted to pull this up for you, Vach, because I was just thinking, like, what? Like, how good is he at, at selling Kirk Cousins to people? And I just, I thought about this scene, Vach. It, it just, you know. Show me them how it's done. Boom. Sell me that pen. Watch. Go on. Let me show this pen. That's my boy right there. This pen. I'll right. sell anything. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. Bro, that's Kirk Cousins, bro. That is Kirk Cousins' agent. He just know how to sell anything to anybody. Supply and demand. Boom. Scott, that is exactly how the quarterback market is. It is supply and demand. And when you're in demand and quarterbacks run dry, you can ask for whatever you want. Scott, look, hold on. One more thing. Price of the brick going up. Yeah. 30 more. 30 more, Scott. The price of the brick goes up every year, man. The price of the brick goes up every single year. Did you hear that, Scott? That, yeah, that came I heard, yeah. No, no, no. The price of the brick goes up every single year, Scott. So, so I mean, people can laugh and be like, "Oh, Kirk Cousins stealing money," but dog, like you, 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 you need quarterback. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I, I love. Listen, man. You know, you know these these GMs or whatever they can poo poo and lie about their quarterbacks all like uh the um guy in um in um Pittsburgh right one day he's like oh we we got faith in Kenny Pickett and the next day they signed to Russell Wilson and shit you know what I'm saying <laughs> I like I like Raheem Morris he's like hey yo bro like the quarterback situation is trash that, that that's why I'm here 
<laughs> quarterback is trash. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, Kirk Cousins is in demand because I, he has to be. You bring American money. You got damn right they got American money for Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> they got that scripple money down there in Atlanta. They about, they about to, hey, dog, you see what they have? They had Kirk Cousins up there in uh, Minnesota with the yeah. chain on. What you think they about to have him down there with Tip and Jeezy? Kirk about to be in a two chains. Kirk about to be acting. They about to boy. catch Kirk at Magic City. Breaking news TMZ reports got Kirk Cousins on our strip. Like, I'm telling you, watch. Kirk about to get divorced, Scott. Look. I was watching a Netflix documentary, right? And, and oh, you know, he's he a wholesome Kirk, character, bro. Kirk is buttoned up. Yeah. I bet if you do that Netflix documentary again with Kirk in Atlanta, it's gonna look like the Manziel documentary, dog. It's gonna be like, <laughs> I mean, I did the coke. The grills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got money under the table. <laughs> I shot nice in the bathroom. Yeah. Like, Kirk Cousins' wife, like, damn, I wish they had shipped him off to Wyoming somewhere. What the hell Kirk are Cousins is arrested for having a gun under the seat. Like, yeah, we don't know what. Like, what's gonna happen with Kirk Cousins next? Bre- breaking news, Kirk. Kirk Cousins, cousins caught with coke and strippers and coke. <laughs> like I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. It's what happens. <laughs> hey, um, officer, I don't know if you know who I am. Uh, I just got signed. I'm Kirk. Hey, uh, you, I'm Kirk Cousins. Think you let me go? I right, can't folk get your ass in the car. <laughs> All right, cousin. All right, brother, man, get your ass in the car. Not gonna be able to do it, Scott. Hey, but look, we got Dak Prescott, man. Everybody else up here fussing about. Dak Prescott and how bad they think Dak Dak Prescott is. Kirk Cousins out here getting the bag with Atlanta being Kirk Cousins. So, hey man, he about to, this is his third contract, right? His third. Whoever, yes sir. Whoever, whoever Kirk Cousins' agent is, Todd France, annoying, annoying, and whoever Matt Flynn's agent is, you know who that is, Matt Flynn. Yeah. Matt Flynn got all that money from being a backup from just playing like one game in Green Bay. It was like one game he played. He got like 350 yards. Yeah, I mean, and like and he and, got his and, job and, taking the same off. He, got, he, he did, but he had he had racked up like 200 million dollars over like over the over the source of his career, or whatever the, yeah. the length of his career from just playing one good game and being a trash backup the rest of the way. Them the two ages that need to go in the hall. Well, of fame. also shouts out to is it David Moo? Is it Moola Getta? Oh, okay, okay, I think okay, it's okay. David Muller. Okay. He, he's uh, Micah's agent, by the way, but he's a ton of other players' agents and, and getting his players the bag today. And, and and he's been doing that for the last number of years. So shouts out to him too, man. Is Kirk Cousins a member of YSL? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Be enough, Kirk. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into some work, chat. Hey. My mind y'all, we we ain't getting directly into the cowboy talk because I mean. Y'all want to talk about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, so yeah, we, we, we up. was just talking about how we should be on break this week. Should be. What the hell are we gonna talk about free agency wise? We gonna talk about who left and who other people's assigned. That's about it. Jerry Jones and them on a boat down vacation. You, so Scott, do 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 vacation yachts have continental breakfast or are they just like like? So is that like Jerry's yacht or do you rent a yacht to go on vacation? Like give what's like, going on? Give me like five years, watch, and we gonna know. Scott, I'll talk to you. Like that. Scott, I'll talk to you like that you want. Hey, and, I, and don't make me cuss on the volume now. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> uh, either that or we going to know more about sand dunes. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Y'all heard I got a yacht? <laughs> All right, Scott, let's move on because you love to fuck the bag up, Scott. Let's move on, please. What? What, what, what I do? I'm just saying. Oh, nah, because we. Because it'll be just fine in the snap of your finger. You go too far, and that made me go too far. <laughs> Next thing you know, five. That's true. Okay. Actually, no, it's not, because that other podcast, I done heard a lot of things over there, so we good. <laughs> we good. Yeah, it's a rap, Scott. All right, cool. Let's get into it, my guy. <sighs> um, I don't know why I had my notes pulled up for wide receivers some shit. Because we we're behind in the backstage, we were talking about talking. receiver prospects, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, we we be having podcasts back there. Um, so chat, this is what we got for y'all today. Today is a cowboy day. Of course, we're gonna talk about uh some of the cowboys' losses, how we feel about them. Uh, what's the what's the next course of action? <laughs> if we appreciate this move or not, um, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts and opinion in the chat, Scott. Uh, in the chat, chat. Uh, and me and Scott Walk still gonna uh, Ooh, my bad, bro. <laughs> we gonna break this day. We gonna break this thing down just a little bit. Um, so of course the Dallas Cowboys did not make any moves today, but, and I don't want to turn this into a show where I, I shame fans too much. Right. I don't, I don't want to just be waving my finger at you move with your uncle, Nancy and Bel Air. I don't, I don't want to just be shaming y'all like that, but 
I feel like y'all, y'all, y'all should know how we get down and we kind of do this every single year. And, and this shouldn't be anything that you're not used to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the Jones is on vacation and that's hilarious, but we know they're not day one players. We know they don't really get involved unless they're, they're paying their own guys, unless they paying their own guys. And even, even that though, Scott, like do the, do the, have the Joneses in recent history paid our own guys on the first day of free agency? Like that ain't even something that happens to us. Nah, normally the, the, the big money, Usually happens yeah. maybe before like they did with Dak on March eighth, or they'll do it in in training camp as an extension. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but you don't normally see first day free agency they pay a big bag to our guys now. Yeah, man. So I mean, I, it, it's not it's not news that the Cowboys haven't done a thing. That's just something that we should be used to. Um, the biggest news that happened in Cowboy Land is that we this is that we lost Cowboys, and what this does. It kind of clears up the picture a little bit, Sky. Whether we like the move or not, at least the picture is a little more clear. For example, um, we've been talking about running back the whole offseason. What would running back look like with Tony Pollard gone? And then, hold on, Sky. The conference has been locked. Yeah, because we got to get out today. Um, so Tony Pollard, right? Tony Pollard. Like, we're, so we're, we're we're thinking of life without Tony. And then Tony say, "Yeah, man, you know, I, you know, I." I I I come back to the Cowboys for cheap, you know. I come back for a, for a small dollar amount and play for the Cowboys cheap. And Stephen Jones started rubbing his hand, but then the Tennessee Titans offered him big money. Okay, now Tony Pollard's not coming back for cheap, so now we know for sure, Scott. All right, there are no Tony Pollard politics. If a new running back is here, Trey Benson from Florida State. We've been talking about him a lot, Scott. All right, so cool. You're not gonna stunt <clears throat> the playtime for Trey Benson. All right, cool. Tony Pollard, you're not gonna you're not gonna slow down the rookie running back. You're not going to, you know, you know, take time away from them. You're not going to Zeke Tony to Tony Trey Benson. You understand what I'm saying? You're not gonna slow him down. Now that Tony Pollard is gone, nine times out of ten, Scott, whoever the rookie running whoever the rookie running back is, it's more likely that we lean on that 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 you know person, whoever that is. Yeah. And why that's important, because if Tony's your first running back, Scott. You're probably less likely to sign a Trey Benson. If if Tony's if Tony's your running back one, you're more likely to sign like a Braylon Allen type guy or like an Audrey Estimate type guy, like a power guy that'll compliment oh. that'll compliment Tony. But now that Tony well, gone, well, what's wrong with that? Well, there's there's nothing wrong with that, but just oh. Tony gone. Like 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 Tony's a complimentary back to Tajay Spears now. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying now is that Shit. since Tony is gone, I'm gonna make eight million a year. <laughs> might be the running back. <laughs> <laughs> he better be better be the first one. Yeah. Um, but now that that Tony that that Tony Pollard is gone out of our lives, okay, cool. Now I can go. All right, so if we draft if we draft Audrey Gestamay, then he may be getting way more carries than we thought, or Trey Benson, or Jalen um, Jalen Wright, or whoever. Right, pick a guy, Marshawn Lloyd, whoever you like. That running back is more likely to get more carries paired along with Gus Edwards, Ronald Jones. Yeah, Gus Edwards just went that. to San Diego, or San Diego. I'm Mar. Went to the Chargers, by the way. Two year deal. He went to Chargers. Okay, well, 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 well it ain't gonna be Gus L. <laughs> because, but whoever the hell is the veteran running back that the Cowboys are very much likely to sign um, is going to be that character. And, and I like the idea that running back room is going to be cheap for the first time in a long time. Scott, what was your? I had a feeling. I got a feeling about what your thoughts are, but but what are your thoughts on? We just moving on from Tony. We got a brand new running back room. It's inevitable now. What you think, Scott? Yeah, not surprised that this happened. Um, <clears throat> they, I lost a little trust with him though last year in the draft. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I thought the, the 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 obvious thing to do was to pair Tony Pollard with one of them backs, like you talked about, right? Uh, but but that didn't happen. So now I go into this draft thinking the same thing as you're saying, right? Like, oh well, well whatever. Power back you sign, you draft a compliment. Whatever, you know, slasher you sign, you draft a compliment to them in the draft. I, I just lost a little confidence. I, I I hope that's what they do. That's a smart thing to do. Um, yeah. but it's been a while since they had to navigate these waters, right? I mean, let's let's really think about it. Sure. It's been since 2015, Cowboys Nation. Y'all yeah. remember that year? My, Michael uh forget his name from um from Seattle. And we had we had uh, the, the running back that was still in draws, and then Run DMC came in here, and he ended up rushing for a thousand yards. The year after, uh, what's the name left? Demarco, DeMarco Murray. Murray. Yeah, so it's yeah. been almost a decade since the Cowboys have been in these waters, and I just 
it shouldn't be that hard. I should have immense confidence, right? Yeah, sure. you draft. It's so many running backs. You draft one and you rock out. But here's why I'm like, man, I just got to wait and see. This yeah. scheme sucks, right? Sure. The run scheme sucks. Your offensive coach slash coordinator slash play caller, bro, he on the last year. He might not give a damn about running the ball, number yeah. two. N- number three, they were in prime position to take care of this position last year for the future and completely whiff. So it's like, I'm not tripping that Tony's gone. I'm just like, man, do I have confidence that they're really going to adequately put the, the, the backfield together right? I ain't going to lie. It's, it's a little dinged up, but I, I know many backs, and you know many backs that can easily come back there, I think, and, and give you confidence. I will say that the Cowboys don't have bad drafts two years in a row. They never have, like, back-to-back bad drafts. And and the jury's still out on last year's draft. Please, Lord. Still out on, on last year, because we need every single last one of them. Um, we need Mozzie, we need Overshawn, Luke to just beat Peyton Hendershot if he's still on the I don't know if Hendershot on the team. Uh, Luke, uh, uh, Junior Fajoko, we need all those guys yeah. to do something. Awesome, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if if Deuce is in your plans for running back, Scott. If if you're if you're in charge, Scott, would Deuce be part of your plans at this point? Because I know you were Should heavy on have been him. last year, uh, you know, what? at part of a committee as a satellite back. That's another thing. You lied to me, coach. You lied. Remember, remember after the draft, he said, Oh man, I've been dreaming of the I got plans for Deuce. I, oh, I got plans. What plans? Yeah. He didn't have no plans. You 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 sent that man in there when you was up 40 to nothing, 33 to 6. 42, you know what I mean? And had him rushing behind backups against other team starters. And yeah. that was your plan? Okay. I don't want the Cowboys to sit on their hands too much as far as running back draft goes, right? I understand that, you know, other teams make it look easy. You know, Isaiah Isaiah Pacheco, two-time Super Bowl champion, you know, seven-round pick, you know what I mean? You ain't trying to wait till like six or seven round to get one. <laughs> For every Isaiah Pacheco, there's seven Mike Webbers. I, I knew you that's, was about to say Mike Webber, bro. That's just that's you know you know I can't stand Mike Webber. That's <laughs> just you. It's seven of them, Scott. That just ain't do nothing. I'm looking at my running back list right now. There are plenty of running backs, but I don't want us to be like, oh, Jalen Wright can go, Bucky Irvin, Trey Benson, Ray Davis. Oh, let him let him yeah. go, let him go. I don't want to get way down at the bottom and Tyrone Tracy sitting there. Or the kid from New Hampshire. What a name is Dylan Dylan Loeb. Dylan Loeb. The seventh round, they take my they take my cousin from the other side, Carson Steele. Yeah, Carson Steele. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you got another cousin, UCLA. Yeah, man. I I just I just don't want us sitting on our hands. I don't want them thinking, oh well, you know, running back. We could find running back anywhere. We can just get. A I actually back. agree with you. Yeah, I, and it, which is crazy because I'm I'm all about hey, I can find it back anywhere. Sure. Yes, yes, to an extent, you know, like if you don't have a, a, a good scheme where you can plug and play a seventh round Isaiah Pacheco or Carson Steele or whatever, mm-hmm. hey, it might be it might be best that you do get a guy that's a little bit more talented. Maybe he can make up for your deficiency. So yeah, give me give me that that comfortable. Um, Brees Hall was like a second round pick. Kenneth Walker was a second round yeah, pick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me give me that range Dalvin of dudes. Cooks. Dalvin Cook was in that range. Give me that range of guys that we could talk. And um, hell, and even in this draft, just based on how offensive tackle goes, quarterback goes, there are a ton of wide receivers. Cornerbacks probably going to be full of day two. Cornerbacks probably going to be filled in day two. I think even some of your favorite running backs can be like round three guys for you, right? So if you want to push it back one round, possibly maybe. But um, I don't think running back is something that you need to fuck around with too much because, you know, for everything that everybody says about playoff football. The Cowboys didn't bring none of that to the goddamn playoffs, and no. and you lost because of that. So, uh, fix your scheme, fix your running back position, and you'll be fine. Can can I offer <laughs> you a, a guy like you know the Zach Moss is still out there, Dante? Does that move the needle in the sense of I, I can wait till fourth, fifth round, or four minutes tough to sell? Moss might be a little easier, some because he had success last year. Yeah, I I mean I'll take Zach Moss, but I don't want my future to be Zach Moss. Oh you know yeah, none saying? of these dudes should be your future. Yeah, yeah. Right, your future should so, be the draft. So if Zach Moss is a one is a one year contract, two point five three or whatever, and I keep saying Trey Benson because I love Trey Benson's guy, and Trey Benson is your guy. All right, cool. Trey Benson can be complimentary back until uh, Zach Moss leaves, or Zach Moss can be your goal line back. Your you know change of pace guy while yeah. Trey Benson takes over. Then cool. I can I can I can live in a world with your that. Your future know? should be the draft. Is what you basically getting? One hundred percent agree. One hundred percent. And and with that said, though, Scott, I mean, I don't I don't think Deuce are a part of the 
the the lead plans. Like you know, Deuce, <laughs> yeah, nah, he can't he can't be part of the lead plan. You never know. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it. You know, one one other show, but Deuce is just another stain on on last year's draft. If if you don't get nothing from him, though, right? Because we it, talking about running back a bunch, we act like he don't exist for a for a year one impact draft. Not over. It, it it will go down as one of the worst year one impact drafts in the McClay era. I would imagine. You know. Yeah, you know, I I give Mozzie and Luke a lot of, you know, I give them a little leash, you know what I'm saying? Because D tackles take at least three to four years. You know what I'm saying? I understand how that works. Then you should have took Matthew Bergeron. You should have took Matthew Bergeron. You got that right. Um, and I like Mozzie, by the way. Mazzy, I was happy Mazzy. for the pick, but if, if if your old plan was, oh, we got three years. Take Bergeron. You should have took Bergeron because you oh. – also got a got a theory about guarding in NFL, Scott. Do not let me forget. Uh All right, right now. Gotcha. But, but schoolmaker, you know, it it takes tight ends maybe two or three years though, right? So Scott, if if Mozzie has a good sophomore campaign, Luke has a good sophomore campaign, if Overshone is relatively healthy and he's somewhat close to what we thought it was gonna be, um, then that makes me feel a little better about the return. But as far as I don't see no plan for Fahoko, Richards, Scott, uh Brooks and 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 Vaughn. I just do not see an immediate future. Like we like we look at the other drafts and we go, hey dog, Bland ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Bland gonna be right here. Yeah. Or we'll look at, you know, like you know, it just just we'll 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 see something in a even um hell, even Neville had a better opening campaign than Mozzie. And I'm sick of Neville right now. You know, like Neville going, <laughs> Neville probably gonna be he about to go to Washington. Yeah, nobody right. He about to be more Dan. Dan about to make that shit home. You hear me? Um, but dog, man, it, 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 if they have a better second year campaign, then I would feel a little better, especially going going into the draft this year. Let's move on, man. We ain't gotta keep somebody running back and bullshit like that. Uh, so Dorrance Armstrong, we lose Dorrance. Yep. I ain't really panicking about this at all, though. Scott. I ain't really worried about losing no. Dorrance. I think. I think you can find some other pass rush help. Um, I would love for Chauncey Golson to go back to the end, and I hope that maybe Zimmer can bring somebody to him. Of course, and and this is something else that me and you talked about, the edge position is a sneaky need, and that may be somewhere that we uh, that we end up drafting, Scott. And I ended up looking at a bunch of edge players, right? And it's a gang of dudes just kind of in the middle of this list that I, that I like a whole bunch. Muhammad Kamara, guys like Austin Booker, guys like um, Gabriel Murphy, UCLA. There's a lot of dudes that that, that may end up being thirdish. We ain't got no fourth round pick right now. We don't have fourth round pick, but 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 there there's some guys that can just kind of come and chat. Don't forget, Dorrance Armstrong was no first round pick. Dorrance was no premium cat. Dorrance was a guy that we brought in and fixed. <laughs> we trained him. You know what I'm saying? So um, there and and we have coaches. That have record, they have track records for taking taking broken dudes or just taking traits guys and fixing them and just contributing to they uh to their um I'm growth. Talking about under Dan Quinn? No, I'm talking about now. I'm 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 talking about Zim's guys. Oh, Zim. Okay. I'm talking about Zim Zim Zim's guys and his and Gunther and his crew and um buddy from uh what's the name that's swole as shit. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just not moved by. By Dorrance. Like, like that, that there was never a game, Sky, last year. And me and me and you watched a, a ton of film, watched every single game of it. And, and dog, that was never a game where I looked at Dorrance like, yo, Dorrance taking this shit over by himself. No. Yo, we gotta keep Dorrance here. Yo, we gotta pay the 15 to keep Dorrance. I never seen Dorrance have a game like that. Nah, he uh his value a lot to Dallas was that he could play special teams too. He was a quality rotational guy, and you and you need that or whatever. But he he wasn't a one on one, I'm beating you guy right pay attention to you guy he was i hate to call it clean up but i mean let's be real you know michael parsons demarcus lawrence you know some some players are going to eat off of that and and he did and and good for him get the bag man i mean he he won't see this contract probably again so you know he wasn't getting this in dallas so and if anything and and sky i don't want to make this sound like i'm bitter because he plays for the wizards and and he's the ops now but uh last season dorrance was the um out of all the edge dudes on this team that actually make the game day roster. I, I, I felt like Dorrance was the one that I was least excited about because we know what Mike is. We know what D law is. 
I had a level of excitement for Sam Williams, and I just feel like Dante is flat out better. You know what I'm saying? It, it was never a time where I felt like, all right, y'all, we just need to keep doing. So losing, losing Doran's, hey, man, shots out to him. Go do your thing with Dan and all that. I hope y'all got clean water at your facility and shit. Uh, but holla at you, bro. Hey, man, shots out to you, man. Thanks for your service and everything that you did. This is why I really get on the Cowboy fans about this, because all of a sudden, be out of your friend now. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Lot is your friend now. Dom the Monko, Monko. Big addition, somebody you couldn't go without. He was on this team for four years, watch, and the front office still calls him bite ass. Bite ass. He bite ass. That's what he is. <laughs> Man, Michael Gelkin uh, made another tweet. I just think he's just like low key sneak shit. Like he's just. Dissing the hell out of it, wasn't that? He's like, yeah, man, uh, this is the third year in a row Cowboys lose another interior player. He's talking about McGovern and kind of Wiz and all that. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, we just getting rid of the dudes that ain't good. We getting rid of guys that don't work. I'm not losing no sleep over losing Tyler Biotis, and I don't know how much his money is, guy. Um, Three I mean, I'm, years, $30 million contract. Man, $10 million a year for Biotis is madness, bro. But hey, look, Washington got the money, so I guess it's, it's cool. With, it's, it's, yeah, they it's got cool the bread. They ain't tripping. It's cool for them, but dog, ten million a year for Tyler Biotis. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, that's their business, guys. That's what I told. Him. <laughs> but I've been, I've been trying to draft him. That run play didn't work. Let's go back and see whose fault it was. Okay, we could. And it was always Biotis's fault. It was always Biotis. Every now and then, Zach will get beat. Uh, Terrence still will get you know his here and there. Hey. Tyler's a stud. We back, yeah. There, there was a bit of a break. That's why I had to go look. It, it looked like we was we we, we kind of went out, but I think we we good to go. Man, no restream, just ghetto. <laughs> well, we we I, I think it's, we get we pouring a lot of people here, man. Twelve hundred watching. Shouts out to y'all. Oh, man. oh, we got. Oh, well, let me be been a walk. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We all that. Hey, look, we go live like, every Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, we all that. Me and Brian brought us go. We talk on Friday. We all been. Hey, we appreciate y'all being here, though. Uh, so, Sky Man, Biotis was a character. I'm looking at him, and I'm I, I'm actually mad that the news came out that they were having conversations with Tyler Biotis. Because in my mind, I'm like, man, what y'all got to talk about? What What do y'all have to talk about with Tyler Biotis and and his agent? When I can find a rookie that's better than him right now, and if we don't get the rookie we want, it's another rookie that's better than him right now. And if we don't get that second rookie, it's another rookie that's better than him right now. If the if the Cowboys back themselves into a corner where they got to draft center in the first round, I feel straight because I think it's three dudes in the first round that can play for you right now and they'd be better than Tyler Biotis. So I'm straight. Shouts out to Tyler Biotis. Just don't Powell drop Jones, it, though, right? Like, don't drop the ball on this. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you need a center, up. man. And, and I know a lot of people, and, and I don't know if I'm being pessimistic on this, but, you know, I try to stay, I try to be realistic. I like what Brock Hoffman brought to the table in the sense of a utility backup, tough guy, like ah, Brock Hoffman, face paint. But are we really, we're going to bank on Brock Hoffman being the future? If a center falls to you in the first, second, or third round, man, I'm, I ain't ready to go there just yet. You know, you still need depth at the end yeah. of the day. So I ain't saying get rid of Brock Hoffman. I'm just saying I'm not, I'm not, not drafting a center because of Brock Hoffman. Skywalker still, let me say something to you, bro. And you're a very impactful football mind in 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 my life. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you're 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 up here, sir. I go on different platforms. I mean, you know, I just be on like Bleach Report for no reason. Dom the Monko, Monko. You know, I I be talking to you know whoever. I be on a podcast. I be on you know Tom Brown. Who whoever I'm talking to, I'm talking to you know Brian Brown. Whoever I'm talking. Who, Dom who, the who Monko. Let's hear what I said. Just it don't matter who I'm talking to, Scott. The one thing that I I, I I'm constantly stealing from you, I steal it from you. Call the police on me. No stone unturned is a part of my vocabulary, Scott. Heavily. You know what I'm saying? So when you see the Eagles and they doing everything they can to win, you see the 49ers doing everything they can to win, the Rams, everything they possibly can to win. I don't want to be the team that go, all right, I could get better right here, but I'm okay with Brock Hoffman. Right. I don't want to be that team, bro. These other the these these other squads, these other squads are not satisfied with whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the, the, the Eagles had problems at linebacker. 
and they still got problems at linebacker. But they threw darts at linebacker. They made the attempt. It didn't work out. Shaq Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo, football guys, boy. But Same they thing made the Kevin Byer didn't work out. But they, they man, it, it didn't work out. But they tried though, Sky. They did not leave any stones unturned. It was trash this year. Well, they made the playoffs and now they lost Baker Mayfield. And them. But, but you understand what I'm saying, though? Yes. I don't want to be the squad that could have an elite offensive line. But I'm cool with a with a solid, a solid. Oh, we can win with a cool, with a, a fine offensive line. I want to be as elite as possible, Scott. I want to be as elite as possible. If I can bring a gun to the knife fight, Nigga, I'm bringing, I'm bringing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I can, we're, we're not just some rebuilding team. If we were a real, a, if we were a rebuilding team, have at it, Brock Hoffman. I think it's inevitable that That's TJ fair. Bad starts. TJ, TJ, TJ Bad starting somewhere. That's inevitable, right? But if we're a rebuilding team, have at it, Brock Hoffman. I will figure this out, Brock Hoffman. But we're in a Super Bowl window and a quarterback that ain't got a new contract. We don't know what's gonna happen there, bro. Like I, I'm just not trying to sit on my hands with this, bro. Yep. Um. So somebody said on Twitter, "Hey man, why not just put Brock Hoffman in center?" I because I feel like we can get better at center. I feel like we can be we can get better at center, and it won't cost you ten million dollars to get better at center. That's my whole point in that. Um. But like I said though, Jackson Powers, Johnson, Zach Frazier. Uh, guys like Graham Barton that I like a whole bunch. Uh, and then you know, I mean, you know, maybe we're not tied in the center like that. You know, maybe if um we get wiped at center, Troy Fats is there, but Sky is looking like Troy Fats ain't gonna be there, bro. Um, I was talking to Brian, and I was um, I watched that show. He don't think nobody okay. he gonna make it. I don't. I look, man. He's like he's like Darnell Wright last year. We was like, all right, Darnell Wright, Tennessee, right tackle, stud. I'm Let's see if you, you can make it to Dallas. I, I said this to you last week. I said to Foots, because he was the first offensive lineman I watched, the first tackle. And yeah. it was at Senior Bowl. And you're usually Senior Bowl, you get a mixed review of, of people there. Sometimes it's just seniors, literally. Or some, sometimes it's, hey, he's going to still be top 15 pick. I was oh. like, so this ain't the best one? Because that's my, <laughs> it was my first guy. I'm like, so he ain't the best. So there's like, how many others? In my, and I was saying, how many others are better? And I don't, I don't have a whole lot more better than him. So... You know, and we've already been through the you know the top five ish or so tackles more than that, honestly. But yeah, yeah, if he falls, it's it's gonna be tough because if he's there and you still got the center need, whoo, and you you talk about putting him at center. Look, if I can get him on the team and you want to move him to center watch, <laughs> then damn it, do it. But I think he can play tackle too or guard. You could he could do all three probably. I don't know about center, but he could do all three. In the event that Tyler Smith is a left guard, then leave him at left tackle. You know, um, if Tyler Smith plays left tackle for you, you put really want. Guard. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you yeah. can, you can put him anywhere. You, if if oh, okay, somebody robbed a bank, he he's he's not available. It's an emergency. He can probably, yeah, I think he can play. What I think he can play all five positions. And to pat myself on the back, I won't do it where y'all can see me. But Daniel Jeremiah wrote in his report that uh, Troy Fountain was a player that could play all five positions. And Daniel Jeremiah said that by himself. Somebody told Daniel Jeremiah that uh, that that teams are probably looking at him to play all five positions or whatever. So hey, that that that, that, that just brings a little more to what I said there. So um. But but yeah, like I said, Chad, we're 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 not pigeonholed into just one position. Um, it could be it could be anything. It could be you know, hopefully it's it's BPA. But but if, if I had to knock on some wood and just hope, uh, you know, for for one player that's really gonna put us over the edge, man, give me give me that dude from Oregon, man, give me that center from Oregon. Hey, we'll yeah. just um, another thing your boy B said was uh. B, B who Brian Brock? Yeah, my bad. My bad. Yeah, I call, I've been calling him B for since for years. But hey man, you know, people gotta know who we talking about. Yeah, that's my bad. Um, he uh he said it's very interesting. You usually go BPA in the first or not BPA. You usually go need in the first round and BPA afterwards. And he was like, I know it sounds weird, but that's usually how it goes around the league. And I was like, you know what? I mean. Yeah. I, I I get it. It's like BPA per knee really is what it should be in the first round. And then the rest is like, hey, who's falling to me? Dallas absolutely goes by that in the second round. Sure. They they, they will take whatever the best. They, if he got a to- if he's on one leg, but they know it's going to grow back next year, and he was yeah. going to be a top five pick before he got his leg cut off, they taking him in the second round. They're going to take him. Yeah. Peyton Wilson, please. <laughs> <laughs> I take Peyton Wilson, please. That mother got to have no legs. I don't give a fuck. Uh, 
Steph Smith says Vach is 1000% shameless. Hey man, look, I work my whole life to say this, bro. I work my whole life to hit that button. I work my whole life to talk my shit. Come on, man. Appreciate y'all for being here though. Um, that's all that happened, cowboy wise, and free agency. Uh, we lost Tyler. We lost uh, you know, all those other, you know, we we brought back Carl Davis. Carl ain't gonna make the goddamn team, Some man. More, man. <laughs> God, I just think it's so funny. We got rid of Big Country and Bo Hanna, and I'm not saying these are earth shattering, earth shattering moves, but we bring back Carl Davis. I don't know what we've done with one tech and linebacker, bro. Every one tech and linebacker that we had that we thought was solid, they just I gone. Blame Dan Quinn. <sighs> he, he brought in Keanu Neal to play linebacker, and then he said, "I got a brilliant idea." When our linebacker gets hurt, let's put a 205 pound safety at line. I think, what are you doing, Dan? I think I'm going to just leave it at that, man. I bet you he won't do that in, in Washington. Hell no. I he's not going to have no. Go roll out no 205 pound safety in Washington. At man, center, look. Or I'm sorry, at, at linebacker. Scott, we believe in Dirty Mac and season. You know what I'm saying? Dan, as a head coach, going to want to do everything he can to win. He's not going to have no 200 pound linebacker. Like, he's not going to put. He had a 6'4, 230 pound. 35 pound linebacker Deion Jones, who wasn't too big, but he had real linebackers in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Got here and he wanted to run out some corners. Come on. <laughs> well, now you got Jamin Davis, man. So shouts out to Dan Quinn. But but I don't know, man. One of them safeties gonna have to come down to pass rush, man. I don't know. We'll see. Uh but yeah, man, that's all we got. Let's uh and and of course, we'll the, the more news that happens, we'll be hitting refresh. And uh if we have to pivot on a on a draft day to come talk about something important. We'll see, but likely uh, we'll be doing draft tomorrow. Shouts out to brother L man. He's uh he's been working the new job, man. Shouts out to you. Congratulations and all that. Shouts out to, uh, shout to Marcus Harrison. Wifey is healthy, sir. Here we go. Shouts out to you, sir. Everybody in the chat. Love y'all for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, how much does this change? How you, how you look at draft sky? We still at, at, at left tackle and center first round. That ain't really changed too much for you. Um, yeah. I know we just we just talked about wide receiver and people tell us all the time, yo, Vaj, what if wide receiver's there? And I don't want to be window dressing board guy. We, we we were just having conversations, Scott. And it's wide receivers all up and down this damn draft. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I mean I, I don't I don't wanna, you know, I don't want to window dress it too much. Like if Brian Thomas is there at 24, would I pass him just because I can get Ricky Pierce on the third or something, you know what I'm saying? Or the, or wherever we at. I don't know, but it should be a it should be a fun draft, whatever happens. But I would hope, just me talking personally, I would hope that the Cowboys fill as many needs as possible. And I don't think you can fill center. So that's what I'm about to say, Scott. You notice though, Scott, Guard's been getting some money today. You been noticing that? Guard yeah. Guard Guard's been getting some bread, man. A couple um, centers got signed too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cushion Barry, um, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, interior players in general. Interior players seem to be getting valued a little bit in the draft. And I know Bakhtiar is a free agent. I know it's a couple other tackles that's out there. Tyron Smith. Boy, it'll it'll just make my day if we just re-sign Tyron Smith, guy. If we just re-sign Tyron Smith, I, I just it'll just I'll be I'll be fine with that. Cause now now at least I know we narrowing the shit down a little bit. Uh but but guard guards, it seems like the the value of guard, the price of that brick has gone up a little bit. Do you think that's saying something that 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 maybe the league is valuing guard a little bit, and maybe that's like a, hmm, I wonder if the Cowboys value uh the the best offensive lineman that they have to keep him at guard, or or do you think it's back to the old school thinking that that your left tackle should be the best player on you? I have to go look at the the bread because I I thought it was going up already. You just saw Zach Martin, mm-hmm. thirty something yeah. years old, got got the bag last year, so I think the value's there. You just got to be one of them ones. You can't be. Like John Runyon got three year, thirty million. That's not. That's not. That's ten million a year. Jonah Jackson, he got a nice little deal with, with his three year, fifty one, seventeen a million a year. But it's Robert Hunt who got. He got Robert five got years, a hundred million dollars. That that's that's the big one. The other one's kind of like all right. But if you see more of those yeah. Robert Hunts, then that will show you that there there seems to be a bit more value in it. Right now, yeah. it seems to be about about what it's been. Tep right there just trying to find any any kind of light he can bro just 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 believe in me help help your quarterback dog because hey man whenever your scouts say whenever your scouts say draft cj stroud and you say 
Nah, give me short ball. <laughs> you better do something, man. But anyway, uh, let's get into the phone real quick. Let's see. We got. Uh... Hey, bro, you got a phone call. Oh, <laughs> Scott Walk still. You ready? All right. We, we got Rico on the phone. Let's see what he time out. What up, Rico? Hey, what What's good, player? What you got for the show today? Uh, eh, Cowboys doing what I what I thought they was gonna do. Uh, let some of their players go and not really jump on grabbing new impactful players for this team. Even though I think they're gonna grab some, but I don't think they're gonna grab any of the big names. So it's like it's not. We kind of getting used to this, you know what I mean? Um, it's not old school Jerry Jones. Uh, it's more like a boring, watching paint to dry type of. Uh, free agency, you know what I mean? But what I will say is this, as long as they can plug some of these, plug up some of the uh, the holes that we have on this team, mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. But at the same time, pl- plug up some of the needs that you can't plug up and then go into, uh, go into this draft not being so uh, gun-ho on getting one player, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because if it's any of these good, you like almost – Real good players drop to you at twenty four. Yeah, I still want to have an option to grab enough, whether my I have a need somewhere or not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think it's. Uh, I just don't want our team to have to. What happened? No, nah, man. I just think it's situational, man. Like I would love to have my first round pick, but if you offer me a player that helps me right now, and he a stud, um, you know, we've been saying on the show, man, Derek Brown made me give up the first round pick right now. Like y'all can have it if you want it, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just, it just depends. Like, like that, like, like, like that's an all in move to me, you know? Um, mm-hmm. so it, it, I'm with you too, though. Like we don't have to sign, like, you know, we don't have to get all the, the, the biggest names out there. Uh, but I, I don't want to just rely on, all right, y'all, we signed Trayvon Mullen, what y'all want from me? You know what I'm saying? We signed James Washington, what y'all want from me? You know what I'm saying? We tie in Seki. We brought him back for it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Um, if you want to reach out to some of these other players, you know, some of these veteran guys that may not be demanding top dollar, if you want to look at a Bakhtiari or something, and because he's hurt guy, he might be a little cheap. We can look at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm with you. Yeah. We, you know, we don't have to spend the whole bag on one dude, but, uh, we need some people, you know. We need some. We need some guys to fill the roster yeah. up a little bit. We do, man. Cause like, I, even with the philosophy that they halfway did last year by bringing in the Cooks, by bringing in Gilmore, uh, Stephon Gilmore, that was good. That was a good start, but they didn't finish it by get, making the 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 the, fran- the free agency transition in with it, like to blend it all together. Because I feel like uh, what they did last year that was good. Do try to do some of that this year too, yeah. you know. What I mean, use a, a, a seventh on some a player that want a good, a, uh, like you know, what I mean, like those players. But at the same time, so go get us some veteran linebackers. Go get us a veteran running back too. That 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 a pair well with this draft, man. I just want to make the draft and the free agency come together so we can have a decent team to go in, to go into this next season and battle some of these players. I mean, these teams that we got to play. We got, we got a harder schedule, so that I'm like, look at that too. But they're gonna do what they want to do anyway. We're just gonna sit back and watch. I feel you, bro. Appreciate you. Good call, Reek. All right, peace. That, that, boom. Scott, we really got a harder schedule than than, than last year because I thought last year's schedule was was the hardest schedule. We got we got uh, some harder than that. All right, we'll see when it when it drops. Okay. On right. on those trades last year, I was talking about this earlier. Yeah. I'd argue those were more reactive trades because that's what we needed during the season in 2022. You knew you needed a, a wide receiver. You needed a corner. They didn't yeah. do it. So when they did it for a team that we, they don't normally do that during that point in time, it was exciting. And it was, but once you let it settle, you're like, Oh wait, that actually just got us to where we needed to be. We, you know, it kind of put us right at the same spot. We needed to do more to get better, which is why I thought we should have been active at, at the trade deadline. So yeah. now we're a little bit behind the eight ball with some of these, but you, know, you don't have, that, that corner coming back anymore. You got a lot of center, tackle, running back. A lot more positions to fill, but I, like Reese said, I still would take some of those picks, those day three picks, and try to flip them for, for one of those positions, sign some linebackers. Just get to the draft where instead of five needs, it's maybe two. You know? Yeah. 
Um, 49ers just just signed past rusher Leonard Floyd. Um yeah. Yeah, he'll be he'll be Rico he'll Armstead, be, by the way. You see that yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, uh you know how much money he he demand? He's another hurt guy too, huh? Like, you know, he like, um he was he was already on the roster. They no, he's not a hurt guy, but he he um they wanted him to, to switch up his contract, restructure. He said no, and they cut him. And I guess they're using some of that money to go get Leonard Floyd. I'm pretty sure they're not done. <laughs> the teams you are competing with are not done. Yeah. That's why I can't just be leaning on Brock Hoffman like that. Shout out to Brock Hoffman. I'm sure he'll be. I'm sure he's a fantastic fill in for a couple games player. But these teams are not playing with you, dog. <laughs> for 49ers were a win away. They are not playing with you, bro. Uh, they are I trying to re up. Was they up at half? Yeah, yeah, they it was, was up at half. But they was up. Put it that way. It was a couple was, quarters away. They was up at half and Pat threw a pick at the, at the beginning of the third. They, they it was, was, it was up dead. in overtime. You get a stop. The game's over. You win. Stop on oh, fourth and one. They Super Bowl champions. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dog. I'm just like, and, and, and you think they finish just, oh, all right, we cool with <laughs> <laughs> whoever the hell we got. <laughs> McKivitz, you kidding me? Um, yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, 49ers, Eagles, uh, Lions ain't done nothing yet, but I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's early. Uh, but yeah, man, the 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 teams that's actively trying to smoke the the teams that are actively trying to smoke you are doing it actively. You need to be trying to get back at them a little bit. Big A, what's happening? What's up? Hey Vosh, hey Sky, how y'all doing? What's up, player? What you got for the show? Uh, not much. Up, I want it well for starters. I'll bring a I'll bring a little bit of positivity. I, like I, I got this, I got a sensor because I'm not sure yet. You know, I was kind of weird like okay. that. And I, I I saw a tweet from uh, Jim Nagy, mm-hmm. you know, the guy over the finger ball thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was talking about he I don't know how he got this, but he he was he reported out that uh one of the that the Cowboys, the O line coach for the Cowboys, I forget his name. He's at the Oregon State Pro Day. It's Larry. Mm. So why are we so, so oh. that's like good news? Oh, I feel like oh, I thought like it's kind of good news to know that Wagga potentially they could be looking at Wagga a little bit. Let me but tell you something. I mean, Let me tell you something. <laughs> him going to Oregon State that just means he's just a fan of the kid and he he just want to see him do well in the league. Him working out to least for Wagga means nothing because his ass is gonna be gone, well gone. Yeah. And and the Cowboys ain't trading enough for nobody. So I mean, I, I know. it'd be nice though. Look, let me tell you something. You want to see me push Terrence Steele off a bridge? Go get me Tyleese Fuaga real quick. See if I can make a trade or re up a pick or something and get back at you. <laughs> we can get done. <laughs> Tyleese Fu- go work out Fuaga if you want to. You know what I'm saying? So like, so like Mike Solari probably got a friend that work at Oregon State yeah. or or unless it's like a a day three tackle. Let me look and see if it's a day three tackle. I don't know at Oregon State or something. You know what I'm saying? But but, but go ahead though, big guy. Go ahead. Let me go ahead. You know, but you know, I know it's not much. A little something. Uh, mm. Also, uh, I want to say. Uh, I guess um, I understand. We I know we don't give a crap about these people, but in all seriousness, look at what Philadelphia. For me personally, yes. I'm kind of I'm scratching my head at what Philadelphia's plan is so far, because mm. like if I don't remember correctly, Keller Moore is not that big of a running. It's not big on running, mm. and yet they decided to spend 13 million on Saquon. Which hey, I don't care if they can do, go ahead and do that. Sure. And then also, the weird fact that they like. They looked at their DNs from last year, and they're like, you know what? We are gonna trade them, and they decided to go. I like Bryce Huff, but like, you know, the fact that they're like, oh, you know what? Let's just get rid of the two. Let's get rid of our two DNs from last year. Weirdly. Mm. Yeah. Um. I mean, I mean, they they just they 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 adding guys, man. You know, Bryce Huff. Bryce Huff step in right now and help you. And um, you know, the Eagles have have gotten older at a lot of spots, though. You know what I'm saying? But you know, if they feel like they old that pass rush, they moved on from some characters, other characters retiring, and all that. Maybe that's their way of bolstering the D line. You know, Fletcher gonna leave, but now that this just means that year two Jalen Carter step up and take over. So, um, yeah, man, they, they they have enough youth. They're, they're up fine. To be fine. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, yeah, they good. Uh, okay, you know that's just me right now. Yeah, I got anyway, you. Anyway, uh, I'll keep I'll keep keep listening to you guys and. I wanted to thank you guys once again. You know, I've been going through a rough spot. And you guys really write my day up listening to you guys debate and stuff. I, I like to be a part of you guys. Thank you, man. Oh, man. Appreciate appreciate you, big guy. That mean the world to us, dog. Salute. 
Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Chat, that really does mean everything to us. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. Um, and, and, and man, listen, man, like, you know, even the Texan signing Jeff Okuda for one year, right? Like, hey, like we just making an attempt, dog. We just trying to test a little water. We trying to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I saw, I saw a Cowboy fan make a point. They was like, hey, man, let's just sign Aaron Jones so we ain't got to play him. I'm like, that's <laughs> right. It's real. Go ahead. No, I was saying about the, the Saquon thing. We was kind of talking about that backstage um, where they don't run. Kellen doesn't run the ball. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe the head coach will make him because when you think about this, you know, two different OCs. The one didn't have a damn clue last year, but one thing they they were doing at one point was running. I mean, it was a game, I think, against Minnesota where yeah. Jalen Hurst just couldn't get it together, and they said, fuck it. We ran the ball. They ran the ball about 15 straight times. I think it was against yeah. Minnesota. So yeah. maybe maybe the head coach Nick Sirianni will make him run a little bit more, but also it's a three year deal. Kellen got a, he may be fired by next year yeah. because Sirianni may be fired. So you know if they get a healthy Saquon, he's a talented back, but I mean he is injury prone. He is Kellen Moore, so you know it ain't like it's it's a home run for them because they need a back. But we'll see how much of a home run. Now the Bryce Huff, that's a damn good. Yeah. I mean look, I'm about to sit here. I hate these dudes. But I can't I can't hate on them in that sense. That's a hell of a signing right there. He, he's, a, he's a phenomenal pass rusher to go along with, like you said, Jordan Davis and Carter. Uh, we'll see what they do with the other dudes. Maybe they trade one of them outside the division. But, yeah, I mean, look, it ain't even really about the who. It's the fact that they are they are attempting. You know what I mean, if you're an Eagle fan, if you're a Niner, if you whoever, at least you know your front office is going to make the attempt. Whether they swing and miss, that's that they swing and miss, and they just keep going, right? Yeah. But they're aggressively either moving on from players or acquiring them. And that's all you can really ask for as a fan because you can't control anything. Yep. Yep. And and look, chat, this is just one day. Free agency is not over tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We got roughly three more uh, weeks of this. For Dallas. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for free agency well, start for, next week for the Cowboys. Yeah, free agency, yeah, we ain't. <laughs> hey, look, enjoy this draft content. You hear me? We ain't doing nothing else. Let's ain't, get ain't uh, no frenzy for Dallas, mind you. This is yeah, the NFL uh, free agent yeah. frenzy. Yeah. Look, look, Scott. I have on my schedule Bleach Report. They uh got me down for Thursday. It says uh grading the Cowboys free agency so far. I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna do on that show. Oh, Bleach Report. Know. Bleach Report. Oh, they yeah, must yeah, ain't yeah. pay. They must don't pay attention too much. You know. So I'm gonna get on there and talk about uh losing Tyron, losing Beyond, <laughs> losing Dor- yeah, that's, all, that's all I got. Yeah, we start next week. We'll grab a 26 year old, four year pro with you know 28 snaps, but he a special team. That, that'll happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some, some light, some light, my guy. Uh, Danny Woodhead getting signed tomorrow. You know what I'm saying tomorrow. Danny Woodhead. Jr. the mailman. What's up, sir? What's going on, Roger Steele? What's good, player? How's doing all right today? Man, life's so good. Mm-hmm. I can't complain about the damn thing. You hear me? Man, I just had uh, a free question, man. I'm going to get up out of here. Uh, Por favor. With, uh, would you entertain a team in trade, or would you wait till you hit a uh, trade? A who trade? T. Higgins. Cowboys would. I don't think well, I'm saying I, I'm just asking for T. Higgins. Would y'all consider T. Higgins like a number one or um receive or T. T Higgins is a very valuable player, but I think you'd be better off finding somebody to compliment CD. Because you gotta pay CD too. I'd rather okay. trade for Cortland Sutton. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, my, my other thing was uh I, I don't I really don't think Jackson Brown Jones is gonna be there at the twenty field pick simply because We've known Philly to take players, and they do draft before us. Uh, you know, they're known to take players that, that we want. They so trash. where do we go with as far as that aspect goes? Philly need to worry about their damn self and go get some corner help and go get some linebacker help and go find a goddamn – you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like they got their own problems to worry about, you know. They shouldn't be drafting center because uh, they got two centers playing guard. So whether it be Dickerson or whether it be um, the kid from the uh, Jurgens, whether it be one of them, one of them can play center because they play a center already in college. So uh, I don't, I don't think they're gonna be pressed for center like that. But even if they feel the need well, to, you know they are. Okay, let's go. Ahead. No, no, no. Uh, oh yeah, go please. Um, so, so even if they don't, um, if they don't feel the need to, like, it, if they want to press and go get center because they think we need center then i'll take the player that that failed to us naturally 
Because I just think there there's gonna be a player there. Like this is a real this is a really good first draft. I mean, this is a really good first round. I think there'll be old lineman near Vach, tackle or center. I think you'll you know you'll be good. Our Marius Mims is there. Uh, I just really don't think Troy Fast gonna be there. Uh, if they take Jackson Powers Johnson, I mean, you got Graham Barton. I would hope that uh Tyler Guyton is gone, but I mean, even, even if that's the case, Cowboys don't miss at at O line. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if if they if they, yeah, I just think that kind of low down. Go, you, go. Uh, <laughs> you know, if they do, if they did do that, uh, Josh, but I do. I the one sign I do want to see though, or I would like to go get a Derrick. You got to. That would be a good sign if they go do that. Yeah. Um. So so are you all in for center, or would you take a tackle? What if a corner is there, like um? Well, I know we need. Oh, okay, I know we need okay. an offensive line. I, 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 I want to the corner. I, I, I mean, I want really yeah. big on talent. Be honest. Yeah. Uh, with losing Tyron though, that's uh, that's yeah, a big, that's yeah, a big yeah, hurts. Yeah, it, is, it is. Okay, but listen to uh, uh, listen to um, Jared, Like I was saying, so if um, Cooper DeGene is there, and it's Ray Straw, what about Brian Thomas and some of these other guys? Right, like what if it's not offensive line, like? Can I interest you in another position that could possibly help you out right now if it's not offensive line? Uh, no, like if it's um, you know, right. like, oh, okay, okay, just who? I'll probably go uh, D in a linebacker. That's what I, I'll, I'll go one of those. Point, okay, defensive end. So look, it's so I'm I'm kind of with you on that, right? Because defensive end is low key a need, man. You know, D log getting old, and we don't know what's about to happen with Micah, man. Uh, you know, I'm just looking at my list here, Liatu Latu. Uh, who is who is my edge one, but he's hurt guy. You know what I'm saying? So Liatu's a guy I think could come in and help you right now, man. I just don't know where that leaves guys like you know Junior Fajoko. Uh, what do you think about the last year's draft though, uh, Jr. Like like do you do you think the last year's draft can help you at all? Because I know it's gonna take them a little time to get going. Oh, yeah, man. Well, you know you know how it goes. Please, oh. okay, you finish, please. I think Mars. I think Mars. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. Other than that, I don't. Okay, 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 I mean, okay, okay. I, I think Mars will give you some. You know, it be tackle, but I, I'm not sure about you know the corners we drafted as far as uh Eric, Eric Scott. We drafted uh, Eric Scott. Eric Scott. Uh, who else did we draft? Uh, Shit, that's it. Uh, that's, all, got that's all the corners. We, I mean, we got, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got uh, Deuce Vaughn and Austin Richards. And, and look, that's, that's something that's bothering me, though, man. We have no clue what Austin Richards is. Like, I would love to take Austin. Like, if, if we would have played him a little bit and we at least see what we got in him, then we can be like, all right, awesome, plus an off season. Uh, plus some peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? We'll have an idea of what Austin. Re- we have no clue what Austin. Re- it's almost like we're forcing yeah, ourselves. Yeah, okay, 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 please, uh, please tell us about Austin. Yeah, I remember you talking about Austin Richard last year. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, from from what I recall you saying, though, you wasn't really too big on drafting Austin Richard because you said it would take too long for him. To, uh, it's going to be some years for yeah, him. Yeah, man, develop, developing. So. Yeah, develop, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I remember uh, Austin Richard from North, uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. So, uh, you know, as far as uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't. I'd probably go. Uh, I'd probably try to beef up the where well, offensive line is a need every year. So yeah, I would probably go somewhere there in the first round. Got you. Got try you. to see. Uh-huh. Try to. I would get. I would actually go get. If I'm Jerry Jones, I would go get there here. There here. Help their run game out a lot. Okay. Okay. High dollar running backs, man. You know how it go. Uh. Appreciate you though, uh, Jared and Mel, man. Hey, look, look, man, for real, for real. Me, me and Will still was just playing around a little bit. Appreciate you for being a good sport. Appreciate good sport, you calling, man. You made some really good points though, bro. For real, for real. Um, but now I'm about to get into this news that's gonna make me sick a little bit though. Appreciate it, Jr. Good call. More new, more news. Yes, sir. Um, appreciate you. Uh, per Sheena Quick at Sheena Marie on Twitter, she says, barring last minute. Uh, complete breakdown in contract negotiation. Brian Burns will be a New York Giant per source. Oh, so that's Giants. crazy. Authentic, actually. Shouts out to Authentic. He he touched on this earlier, somewhere around like a second and six round pick potentially. A second and a six? I mean, that's what he said earlier. I, I don't know if that if that's the final, right? Like, obviously, it could be more or less. I don't know, but I, I didn't think it was. I didn't know if it was real or not. He did. He just threw it out there, but apparently, it's real. 
a second and six. But maybe more, Vosh. That was just maybe it's, the it's Maybe point. more. Maybe more, yeah. But if you all in, I'm calling with a second and a five. <laughs> like, hey, hey. They, they, they signed him to it. They signed. They have to sign him too, though. Watch. That's the thing. Let's sign him. Up. Let's sign him. Oh, up. Man, you know damn well. Oh, we gotta well, pay back the We gotta pay. You know how they. You know how they do. I don't care nothing about no pass guy. I don't hey. care nothing about no pass. Sign your quarterback. Hit them buttons on everybody else. Let's boogie. I don't care nothing about no pie, bro. Shouts out to brother L, man. I, I thought I was the only one who says this, but you know the, the stand up from Kevin Hart. We thought I thought everybody was eating chips. Like I say that <laughs> till this day, brother L. So to see you Which drop that in the chat, ah, I don't know if it was I'm a grown little man or not, but that that skit was hilarious, man. He basically talking about how we, you know, we we don't really be listening. We dumb, right? And we just you know when. And our women say shit, we just be like, shit, I, I thought everybody was eating chips. I ain't know it. <laughs> and it's just random, but it's hilarious. You gotta, gotta watch see. it, bro. Shout I gotta to see it. it. I, I gotta <laughs> see it. Uh, but yeah, man, that's some that's some news, man. Brian Burns, you know, we're we're waiting on the compensation, we're waiting on the official tweet. But if it is a second and a six, man, I got a two and a five. I ain't using bro. Like so we Burns just, in New York, Saquon and Huff to Philly, and then Cowboy like, players to Washington football people. Yo, look, we still have the quarterback advantage on, on, on both those teams, but it is clear that they are trying to improve, sir. They're trying to improve, Scott. And, hey, man, okay. you know, they can hop on their boat. I'm on a boat. You know what I'm saying? They want to hop boat, on their boat, boat and do their thing. That's cool. But yeah, Teams are coming for us, so hopefully the next, you know, week two and three of free agency, ho- ho- hopefully it's a little better for us, you know? Yeah, I, I've become numb to this part of it. I'm, I'm more or less the entertained part of it is watching people freak out on Twitter every year, knowing damn well we're not going to partake. But I've become numb to this part. All right, then, Sky. Hit that. Turn that up. Soups. Soups. Appreciate everybody for calling, man. Appreciate everybody for, I mean, for all y'all that that was around in the regular season and just kind of left and came back. I mean, appreciate y'all. Uh, man, <laughs> stop, man. Man, Scott, we said something, dog. You was we was like, uh, I forgot what we said, but I was like, man, Scott, we got a thousand people watching right now. After them leaving, so many people miss shows. They don't, they don't get all the inside jokes, no. man. So, yeah. so many people just not gonna get the inside jokes, bro. But that's y'all, that's y'all fault, man. If y'all do not, if y'all simply don't miss shows, you'll be informed on every single. Here's what we gotta do. Every we, single. We gotta take the nonsense, the good nonsense, the, 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 mm-hmm. the you know. And we got to do what, what what Shannon and them do, you know. Shannon mm-hmm. Ocho, they just they just drop the nonsense. You don't see them dropping shorts and quick little videos on the real stuff they talk about. Yeah, you know, drop the mm-hmm. nonsense, get them to come here, you know, because then yeah. they're gonna they're gonna you you gonna get the nonsense here. You are gonna laugh, but we also need sure. the real. So we need to so we need to promote the nonsense yeah, and then they show up. And then they show up like, hey, man, what's up with all this information we getting? <laughs> <laughs> what's up with all these good takes and film we watching? And 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 proof and backing up your takes that's what we do here man i'm not shock jocks nah man nah sometimes <laughs> but not today no you're right i can't speak uh ralph 707 appreciate you sir he drive five and says what up vach sweaty cop what's up will you i got a question for both of you guys should the cowboys get aaron jones or derrick henry or draft a running back i'm taking the the cheap, healthy character. The cheap, young, healthy character. I'm drafting. Say you, Scott. Same thing. For a running back? Yep. He said Aaron Jones, Derrick Henry, or draft a running back. Oh, I can only do one of the three? Woo. Man, that's... T- I mean, how... I, I, I would like Derrick Henry here. I would like Aaron Jones here. But <laughs> both of them... One of them gets really banged up. The other one got mileage. God, that's tough. I mean, I would love Derrick Henry here on a, on a nice little deal. And then pair him with the drafted back. Hmm. Yeah, just 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 cheat and pick all the options. I like that. Scott. I know, I know. That's a terrible answer. I should Derek Henry. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh appreciate you, sir. Vance Williams dropped the five and says, wanting to wish Sky and you a happy 311. Your coverage makes sure we're not all mixed up in the NFL stuff. And y'all always come original. Appreciate you, oh, sir. I thought you might have wished me and Will still a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> when I read that earlier, I was like, "What's what's three eleven? Yeah, I, yeah. I understand four twenty, but what's three eleven? It's just today. Okay, <laughs> it's just today. You know, Scott, my birthday was last week, but I'm not the guy that, that hops on Twitter and be like, "It's my birthday, y'all." I just secretly yeah. 
I, I just secretly get old in the back of the room somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I, I, just, I, just, I ain't gonna lie to you. If it wasn't for my wife, I would yeah. forget. Yeah. She loves she loves to do the big like I have to do the big stuff for her because you know she take you know that's my wife. But for me, it's just another day. Yep. Yep. I say the same thing. And it's it's almost like they don't get it. It's almost like they don't understand. But it's like, okay, this just happened to be this happened to be the day I was born. I still gotta go to work. <laughs> I still gotta do everything. You know what I mean? I I'll I'll celebrate when draft season's over. Like that's when I celebrate. So I mean it is what it is, but Appreciate once you, you once you move down here though, Vice, then you know, you kick it. Well, we'll we'll probably have a cookout or, or, yeah. or something. Yeah. Scott, see, you don't understand. We we friends in real life. I've been plotting on our friendship. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, just 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 things, you know, you and you know, you and your wife, y'all, hey, y'all go on a date and you know, we'll we'll babysit over here, or we throw our kid on you or something or yeah. all right i got the cookout going scott I, how about i made some ramen dog like some real ramen it was a pot this big and i'm like damn it ain't enough people in the house to eat this i sure wish i had <laughs> sky and his family come eat up some of this homemade ramen i made you know what all i'm saying all like all I, you I'm, gotta I'm, do is call me and i'll be over there i mean you know i got you man i've been i've been, I've been plotting on our friendship bro it's happening it's coming uh anyway appreciate you vance uh What's up, Shaq the Vikings fan? Yeah, y'all ain't got a running back. He says Benson is, I mean, pardon me, I ain't got a quarterback. Pardon me. You ain't got a running back neither. Vikings ain't got shit. Uh <laughs> Shaq the Vikings fan dropped the deuce and says Benson is running back one, but tore his knee two years ago. Hey, I don't see it. Just like with Peyton, uh Peyton Wilson. I don't, uh Jonathan Brooks most recently tore his. So I saw that uh, one. Yeah, we saw that one. So <laughs> Trey Benson is more healthy than Jonathan Brooks, then. Appreciate you. <laughs> The ACLs injuries ain't what they used to be, man. They not what they used. Boy, modern medicine get us right back up in five months. We straight, unless you play for the Cowboys. But anyway, going. Yeah, you know, you know, Booby Miles cried in the car because he don't know how to do nothing else but play football. <laughs> he told his ACL. <laughs> Booby Miles had to be a mechanic. Um, what's up, Duck? He dropped oh, five in super chat. Wow, what's up? Frankie Lavu went to Washington. <sighs> Who? Didn't I say he ain't gonna be having no damn two hundred and five pound linebackers? Frankie Lavu is is, is oh, okay, one of the okay. more underrated dudes out of Carolina. Damn, that's, a, that's you've been that's... you've been breaking him down on your show. So, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. if y'all been tuning in, y'all y'all know who Frankie Lavu. I don't know Frankie Lavu. Uh, but there we go. Appreciate you, though, Scott. Appreciate you, uh, Shaq. Uh, and appreciate you, Duck. All right, there we go. Duck says uh, McCarthy will probably ask if he's allowed to go into the season with just one running back on the roster. Well, I hope he don't say that. I hope he don't say that. But I mean, you know, Mike McCarthy out here advocating for for fullback play and then not using them too. So I mean, you know, ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Shout out to everybody in the crypto game. Salute to y'all making your money. Uh, Spot, can you save me? Drop the diamond. Says uh, the whole strength of schedule thing is way overrated. Players move, retire, get hurt. Uh, coaches the same. You know the stat: forty percent of playoff teams do not make the playoff next year. That's fair. That's real talk. But you know, strength schedule is kind of real. But I understand what you're saying, though. Uh, you know, if you if you have the Jets on your schedule preseason, and you know that's a that's a tough game for you. But if Aaron Rodgers get hurt week one, you know, whoop they at. So I feel you. Uh, caller Steve, what's up, caller Steve? Drop the five and says, if you could double dip from one school this year, mm. well, that's a fun one. You should ask that. You should ask uh, Broadus that on Friday. That's a fantastic one. Would it be Oregon receiving Jackson Powers Johnson and okay, that's Bucky Irvin, running back Bucky Irvin from Oregon, or would it be Graham Barton and Dwayne Carter from Duke? Oh, see, he he see, he he's he's tugging on your heart here. Bobby. That's a bad boy. He's tugging on your no. heart. Oh, let's see if a bad motherfucker. Because he know I'm taking Duke. Right. He know I'm taking Duke. He know I love Graham Barton and Dwayne Carter. Hey, bro, Ooh. I would too. Yeah, that's I'll a better combo. Yeah, you're addressing both sides that you need. I know Bucky Irvin is there. I'm not as big on Bucky as many other people, but I I, I get it. Bucky Irvin, Troy Franklin, and, and JPJ, but wide receiver, running back, or center and defense lineman? Shit. I need D line. Because, because, and honestly, I, I feel like there's a gang of other running backs that's, that's a little better than right. Bucky that I can go get. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What's another school that'll be a good double dip? Um, Florida State. Florida State would be great. If I can get our Marius Mims and Lad McConkey, that'd be fire. 
Man, Jordan. this remind me of like NBA jams. When it, you know, two on two. Yeah, yeah two on two. Think about yeah, yeah. all the schools. Who would you take? That's a fantastic. Coleman and Benson, or if you want to go Fisk and and, and Benson. Um, I like Coleman and Benson. Yeah, yeah, I like mm-hmm. I like Coleman. Hey man, that's that's yeah, yo, yo, that's a fun let's question. Take- A.D. Mitchell and Xavier Worthy. Get both wide receivers. Get both for six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's like the Splash Brothers in, in NBA Jam. That's a fun question. I'm going to say that for Brian Brock because you know me. Did you hear what I said? You heard what I said. I, I'm going to say that. Or, or, or Byron Murphy and Sweat with Texas. I, I'll take them. Mm-hmm. And look, Sweat, Sweat ain't going first round. You can do it. You can pull it off. I ain't scared. I will double dip. I will double dip all day, every day. Don't bother me. Appreciate your player. And now, Scott, it, it, I understand, you know, people hate the school. But Michigan literally got <laughs> do eight. They literally got 18 prospects. You cannot. That, that is Voldemort around here. You can't say Michigan the Cowboy fans, bro. It's unfortunate. Michigan got 18 prospects and six offensive linemen coming out, bro. Like, they got they got they got some dudes. They do. Cause they drive five says Cowboys focus on on comp picks next year, not free agency. They, they about to get them. Well, you know, comp picks uh, pending, right? Because don't if you sign somebody, brother, that's equal to that. Do they do they still get that, brother? Who the hell we signed into f- three year forty five million dollar deal, rich. ten year that's three rich. year thirty million dollar deal, and a twenty four million? Nobody. Scott, I'm, I'm sorry. Scott, that's real shit. I apologize. We Scott's... getting them comps. We getting. I'm gonna say. I think we are gonna get a four. I think. I think the Wilson get two get fives. Four and two fives. Yeah, I think we get four or two fives. Yo, chat. Sky really keep me focused because if he wasn't here, I'd have did. I'd have did five whole minutes on that. But I, I, I don't want you to waste your time, bro. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, Washington got a lot of kids that, that you can double dip too, though. Troy Fats, you can get Michael Penix as a backup. Ooh, boy, back yeah, yeah, you can get. Yeah, yeah. Roman gonna be there for us. No, but, no. You know, but just, but yeah. just, to, just to have fun with the. That's the, in general. The yeah, yeah, yeah. A Dunze yeah, and Fats. Hey, bro. Hey, hey. Wait a minute now. That's a, that's that a, might that's be my, that might be my 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 NBA jams two on two right there. Roman fast cold. Yeah, Roman fast. Rome 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 Roman fast pretty cold. Uh, night four or five dropped the deuce and says Texas draft was all in last year, but they got hate. And that's real. Texans, uh, <laughs> Carolina Carolina drafted the wrong quarterback and Texans traded up to go get their defender. Hey, can't blame them. They were all in in their in their draft for sure. I would love for the Cowboys to do something like that, but you know how that go. Uh, brother L drive five says Vach's clone. Brother L called me a clone because he says I'm losing weight. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, <laughs> that's that's when's crazy. The, when's the next Salt and Pepper Lounge? Uh, in case y'all missed the last one with Foots, me and him kind of bootlegged Salt and Pepper Lounge. Y'all check that one out. Um, the next Salt and Pepper Lounge, we'll see. Pretty soon, I. I'm trying to reach out to my my good friend David Hellman from from Fox Sports, and maybe that's one to do. Uh, angry, angry skies representative. When's the wrestling pod pilot? You know that ain't coming. Uh, <laughs> Studio 2024 or 25? It ain't coming 24. Volume, <laughs> volume crawfish though. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> hey, look, we got another studio, but it ain't gonna be volume. Nah, yeah, I'm, 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 I can't say too much about that one, but yeah, yeah I, I just, I'm ready for it because I'm, I'm getting antsy, bro. Like, I'm, I'm ready to put my own damn money in the damn studio. That's, that's how antsy I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. Look, take this money, man. Jake, take this money. Right. Let's do this. And call us. Steve came back with another deuce. That's seven all together. He says only the only water the Jones dip his toe in in the March is Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how they say dip your toe in free agency, right? The only water he dipping is it is in the Caribbean. Damn, call it. See, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. Oh, that's, that's one. hard. That's tough. What's that? Uh, they they actually have brother L. They actually have a, a NFL version, but he he said we need NBA Jams duo T shirt merch with me. They and got you those on the Pro Shop, yeah. They no, got those with in me NFL and Pro you Shop. on it though. Oh, and, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fire. We got that means we got we got we got to get professional headshots. You got kind of got one with with the thumbnail, but we need professional yeah. headshots. I don't got a professional headshot. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna. Turn my shoulders, then turn my head and smile. Fuck <laughs> y'all. No, they don't gotta be like this. Can y'all you know imagine Vach? You, you know they gotta turn it. <laughs> hey yo, when we get off air, well not right now, but one day I'm gonna show you. I got some. I got some professional headshots, man. My, my, yeah. my mom's. She she tried to put me in some commercials back in the day. I had to go get some headshots, bro. And my Scott, let me tell you, I so I got... throw them away. And my my wife then kept them. 
Cause she she just wanna laugh sometimes. So I'm gonna show you my, I'm gonna show you the headshot, bro. So Scott. Laugh. I'm about to text you right now. I got a graduation picture that I'm right, entirely ashamed of. Wait, 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 text you this way. I got whatever. I'm, I'm entirely ashamed of this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. My sister up. just sent me this one, too. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Uh, Marcus Arson not here? <laughs> Marcus, Marcus Arson not here? Hey, all right, look. I'll give you permission to show this on air, too, if you want. But. Okay, don't show my. <laughs> don't show my. Uh, uh, I, you real quick. Where you I can't find her. Uh, where am I? What's the name of that folder? Okay, I guess we okay. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop it. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, okay, there go Marcus. All right, 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 here we go. And let me uh, what's the name of that folder? Was it was it old Vach? Was it was it Coach Vach? All right, here we go. We're gonna we gonna read Marcus Harrison and then we gonna oh, I got two of them, Scott. Here we go. <laughs> Marcus Hardison says at the volume. That's me, Sky, and history. At the vo- I'm trying to find this bit. Oh, Sky, here you go. Oh, Sky, <laughs> don't even worry about this second one. I got you on this one. Look at Sky! <laughs> <laughs> that was for a, that's for a hospital, I think. Oh, man. Like, boy, Sky was a goddamn Gerber baby. <laughs> Sky, check that out, my boy. All right, here we go. Let's run this back. Hey, boy. Hey, you know, right. boy, you when I tell you, much. somebody told me to turn my shoulder and turn my head. <laughs> somebody said, look to the side. Now turn. You, Scott, you, you this, Scott, this shit look like a lawyer. Ba- Hold on, what am I? Fuck it. I ain't no bitch. Scott, this shit look like a... This shit look like a goddamn... Look, Scott, this is AI. Scott, this shit look like AI, my boy. Welcome to the Lombardicus... <laughs> were you hurt? Scott, Scott, were you hurt in the accident? <laughs> <laughs> were you hurt in the accident? Oh shit! God damn! Somebody, brother, else, I used to say I'm Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! God. Okay, here we go. Marcus Hart is way at damn. <laughs> oh man, Gerard said you're in good hands. Oh man, where you hurt in the accident is crazy. Oh man, I gotta hurry up and read this, dog. We ain't gonna never get to it. Yeah. Nah. Nah, show yours too. No, nah, I was glad you can go ahead and show it because you you can you can okay, do it. I, got, I can't. I got, yeah, I can't get into it. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, this sounds like you work at Smart Tech, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I went to IT too. Look at Sky. Look at Young Sky. That's my how sister old? At the time. How how old is this brochure? Man, I listen. My grandma saved that thing for like twenty some years. Though. I have no idea, dog. One eight hundred kids is crazy. One eight six. Hold on. For, for we, just nine on, cents a day. I was about to say for nine cents a day, you can feed this skinny ass kid in the green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> His hairline is not there, but. <laughs> oh, okay. Marcus Hardison says, <laughs> at the volume, that's me, Sky, in this law firm mode. At the volume, <laughs> consistency is the vigilant and focused, hold on. Consistency is the vigilant and focused repetition of action. Consistency is the vigilant and repetition, huh? I can't focus this guy. <laughs> I can't Where's it at? Me. Let me try to help you. I, 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 got, I, I got you. I got no, no, no. Okay, Come on, I can't read. They gonna say I can't read. I don't, I don't fucking mind. I don't... Consistency is the vigilant and focused repetition of action. It's the key to unlocking your aspirations. Consistency is the vigilant and focused repetition of action. Second sentence, though. It is the key to unlocking the third sentence. I'm sorry. Your aspiration. While motivation may ignite the spark, it's consistent effort that fuels the flame. (laughs) While motivation may ignite the spark, it's consistent effort that fuels the flame. Here, 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 sir. Oh, Scott, that took us way too long. That 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 took us way too long, sir. But whatever though, somebody right now missing shows and they just missed that moment. They'll never get it back again. 
It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an annoying <laughs> little lower brother in a hood movie. You ever seen South Central Sky? Yes, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Ray Ray. <laughs> oh, you're right. You ever seen Forty Year Old Virgin? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why I said the smart tech. Because remember when he was like, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. now, now you done found yourself a nigga. You was looking for it, nigga. Nigga, head now. <laughs> that's you. That's you. That's you. <laughs> Somebody say you like smart guy. <laughs> Bro, uh, hell yeah. I mean, how many times I got called smart guy? Oh, Going all the light skin, smart guy, bow wow, uh, oh, uh Rome, all these damn light skin ninjas are growing up. I'm of a Taj Maori. Yep. Actually, instead there, of smart guy, I got a crazy picture that that really looked like the smart guy picture. That no, somebody you 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 don't look like smart guy. You look like boy from Bernie Mac show. <laughs> the little homie from Bernie Mac show. Yeah, with the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Is it Malcolm <laughs> or something? I don't know that name. Um, homeboy. Yeah, him downstairs now. <laughs> Oh man! Well, this was a serious show. This <laughs> then foolishness happened. It is Scott. I should put this on damn Jordan, Twitter right now, Jordan. Scott, I should put this on Twitter right now. Like it's a recent headshot. This AI <laughs> looking. This is just some 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 touched up computer generated from, 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 from graduation or whatever. But I should upload this on Twitter right now. Like it's some recent shit. Just, just make, to see make what, it your uh, profile picture. Make it my profile picture. <laughs> just see what people say. Just see how they just see how they act. Hey, <sighs> brother L, hit me. Remember that from my brother and me? Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what y'all know about uh, 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 goo juice? Ain't it what's called goo mm-hmm. juice? The whole what y'all, rap? Know about, what y'all know about goo juice? Is it goo punch? I think it's goo right. punch. Oh, All yeah, right, goo. now goo punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <Scott, we, laughs> right. No, nah, but dude, the crazy thing is that yeah. one, that one's chill. I, I, I got, I got, I got a worse one. Like I said, he sent me on like the actual headshot dips. It's something like the ones you got. Let me let me type in. Gullah, those ain't hitting the internet. Nah, man. I don't know what my folks are thinking. Let me type Y'all in. Thought I, was, I was about to be a goddamn movie star. Hey, yo, Scott. Look, Scott. Just I just typed in Gullah Gullah Island to see if you like boy from Gullah Gullah Island. Luckily, you what, don't the know Asian? like boy. Nah, no, no, the black. Ain't no white kid. Ain't no Asian ain't kids. Asian on Gullah Gullah. Gullah? Nah, it was black here. They, they was all I, I, black. But I and, thought they did a diversity thing. I thought they might have had. I don't Asian know. Nah, it was blacks and Bingy Bingy. <laughs> oh, you Asians know what? Asians on the yellow, so you know. <laughs> See, Sky gonna be the reason why I gotta move back in the apartment. Jokes, jokes. Come Sky on, man. Wait, so wait, gonna, wait, Sky gonna be the reason. I'm, I'm a th- they gonna take that truck back. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna take that truck back. <laughs> All right. Hey, man. Well, let me get a body of man for Sky. Get us going, dog. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Vice <laughs> party everywhere. Volume everywhere. Skywalker Steel on Twitter. But catch him in the morning. A to Z dollars Monday through Friday. 8 30 to 10 30. Appreciate you, sir. Y'all hold it down for the Dose of Wilson, the PC Weezy. Y'all hold it down for the uh, Dose of Till next time. Uh, salute. <laughs> we, we should go roll with salute, Sky. That's, 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 that's the, we're going to bring salute back. Salute. <laughs> if you've been hurt in a car accident, call 1 800 Lebarticus. And then, and then look, and then look, it's, it's, it's little version of me in there. I got a check for three thousand dollars. That's for my case, like it was his money.